Hello everyone, this is Brother Andrew, and today we have a very interesting story about a very interesting group of people. Today we're going to hear about the story of the first 26 martyrs of Japan. So let's put our listening ears on and pay attention. From ancient times, the people of Japan belonged to a religion called Shinto, which believed that there were little gods living in all things. Christianity did not arrive in Japan until August 15, 1549. At first, the emperors of Japan welcomed the Catholic missionaries. They hoped that the growth of Christianity would help their relationship with other countries many of whom were Catholic. As time went on, however, they became suspicious of Christians and their foreign ways. On February 5, 1597, Emperor Toyotomi Hideyoshi crucified 26 men in Nagasaki. They were Japanese Catholics and missionaries from around the world. There were three Jesuits and 23 Franciscans. These are their names. Number one was Saint Kichi Francisco. He was Japanese, a third order Franciscan. We don't know how old he was, and he was added to the other 25 martyrs at his request. Number two was Saint Takea Kosume. He was Japanese, a third order Franciscan. He was 38 years old. He was a catechist and he was a sword maker. Number three was Saint Skeshiro Pedro. He was Japanese. He was a third order Franciscan. We don't know how old he was, but he was sent to care for the other martyrs when they were in prison. And so he was arrested and thrown in with them. Number four, was Saint Kozaki Mikaeru. He was Japanese. He was a third order Franciscan. He was 46 years old. And he was the father of another one of the members on our list, number 20, Saint Kozaki Tomasu. Number five was Saint Kisai Diego. He was Japanese, a third order Jesuit, and he was 64 years old which meant that he was the oldest of the 26 martyrs. Number six was Saint Miki Paolo. He was Japanese. He was a Jesuit priest. He was about 33 years old, and he was remembered for being a brilliant speaker. He gave his last homily to the crowds watching him being crucified while on his cross. Number seven was Saint Ibaraki Paolo. He was Japanese, a third order Franciscan. He was 54 years old. He was a preacher and he was a brewer. And he was the uncle of Saint Ibaraki Rurobiko, number nine here on this page. Number eight was Saint Soan Yohane of Goto. He was Japanese. He was a Jesuit seminarian, which means he was studying to be a priest. He was 19 years old, and he was training to be a painter and a singer. Number nine was Saint Ibaraki Rurobiko. He was Japanese, he was a third order Franciscan, and he was only 12 years old, meaning that he was the youngest of the 26 martyrs. And like we said, his uncle was Saint Ibaraki Paolo, number seven. Number 10, was Saint Antonio of Nagasaki. He was the son of a Chinese father and a Japanese mother, so he was Chinese and Japanese. He was a third order Franciscan. He was only 13 years old, and his mother was watching him being crucified at Nagasaki. Number 11 was Saint Pedro Bautista. He was Spanish. He was from Spain but he had come to Japan to teach the Japanese about Jesus. He was a Franciscan friar. He was 48 years old, 
and he was the superior of the Franciscan mission in Japan, meaning that he was in charge. Number 12 was Saint Martin de la Ascension. He was also Spanish and a Franciscan friar. He was 30 years old, and he was the partner of number 15 on our list, Saint Francisco Blanco. Number 13 was Saint Felipe de Jesus. Felipe was Mexican, not Spanish. He was also a Franciscan friar. He was only 24 years old, and he is the very first Mexican to be a saint. Number 14 is Saint Gonzalo Garcia. He was the son of a Portuguese father and an Indian mother. He was raised in India. He was also a Franciscan friar. He was 40 years old, and he is the first saint from India. Number 15 was Saint Francisco Blanco. He was a Spanish Franciscan friar. He was 28 years old, and like we said, he came to Japan with Saint Martin de la Ascension, number 12. Number 16 was Saint Francisco de San Miguel. He was also a Spanish Franciscan friar. He was 53 years old, and he was remembered for being very quiet. Number 17 was Saint Matias. He was probably Japanese and also probably a third order Franciscan, but we're not really sure. All we know is that the soldiers were looking for another man named Matias, and he offered himself to take his place when they couldn't find him. Number 18 was Saint Karasumaru Deon. He was Japanese, a third order Franciscan, 48 years old, and he was a Buddhist priest before he became Catholic. He was the financier of the friars, meaning that he helped them pay for things. Number 19 was Saint Bonaventura of Miyako. He was Japanese, a third order Franciscan. He was about 20 years old, and he was also a Buddhist before he became Catholic. Number 20 was Saint Kozaki Tomasu. He was Japanese, a third order Franciscan. He was 14 years old, and like we said before, his father, Saint Kozaki Mikaeru, was here with him. Number 21 was Saint Sakakibara Yoakimu. He was Japanese, a third order Franciscan. He was 40 years old, and he was the friary cook. He made all the meals. Number 22 was Saint Francisco the Doctor. He was Japanese, a third order Franciscan. He was 48 years old. He lived next to the friary. He and his wife were doctors, and they took care of the sick for free. Number 23 was Saint Tomasu the Preacher. He was Japanese, a third order Franciscan. He was 36 years old. He was a pharmacist for Saint Francisco the Doctor. He was also a catechist, and he had a fiery personality. Number 24 was Saint Johanne of Kinuya. He was Japanese, a third order Franciscan. He was 28, and he lived as a silk weaver. He made fancy clothes. Number 25 was Saint Gabriel of Ise. He was Japanese, a third order Franciscan. He was 19 years old, and he was converted to the faith by his fellow martyr, Saint Gonzalo Garcia from India. Number 26, was Saint Suzuki Paolo. He was Japanese, a third order Franciscan. He was 49 years old, and he was the catechist in charge of Saint Joseph's Hospital in Kyoto. On June 8, 1862, Pope Blessed Pius IX canonized the first 26 martyrs of Japan. Today, they are honored as national heroes. No two of them were alike. They came from different countries, spoke different languages. Some were old, some were young. The one thing they had in common was that they all loved Jesus. 
Every one of us is called to be a saint. Every one of us is called to love Jesus. Imagine one day you became a saint. What would your story look like? How will people remember you?